A lifetime of study has led you to the belief that people should be eating more seafood. Why is that? The brain first evolved in the sea 500 million years ago, okay? It used marine nutrients for its construction and function. It still uses exactly the same nutrients today, that's why. And the marine food chain is still the richest source on the planet for these things. Very simple. And you're saying that the issues, health issues related to the brain are certainly a rising health problem. Well, there's, there's two things. Firstly, that the, um, the studies that have been done, for example, on fish oils have uh, shown very conclusively that they're powerfully protective against sudden death from heart disease. Now, <clears throat> the brain requires uh, good blood vessels, and particularly when it's developing, it requires good blood flow of placentas just processing great lakes of blood. And so the prediction was that we made in 1972 that if the blood vessels were under attack as signaled by heart disease, then brain would be next. And this is precisely what is happening. And what's the scale of the problem we see now in Europe? Well, the scale is that, that the um, cost of brain disorders at 2004 prices is 386 billion euros for the 25 member states. Now, heart disease, which used to be the number one cost and the burden of ill health, is at 17 percent. But brain disorders have risen, shot up to take over at 25 percent. That's a quarter of the whole budget. And if brain disorders rise uh, as heart disease uh, did last century, well, we're in for serious trouble unless we take action. And what can be done about it in practical terms? Well, in practical terms, it means eating a lot of seafood. I mean, that, that's a simple answer. Um, but I think it's, there's more to it than that, because the uh, availability of seafood people claim, at any rate, is, is on a sort of a diminishing slope. And I think we've really got to take seriously the idea of agriculturalizing the oceans. Um, at the moment, people, the, the way uh, the fishing industry goes about the oceans, is, is, has a sort of a, a 100,000 year old um, ancestry. It's, it dates back to the days of hunting and gathering 100,000 million year, 100, years ago. Um, so, it, 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 I mean, we've got to get our act together. Come on, this is the 21st century. Uh, 10,000 years ago, you know, when people started worrying about food supplies, they agriculturalized the land and domesticated plants and animals. It's about time we did something similar with the oceans. And how can you imagine that would come about? Well, it, it, I mean, people are involved in aquaculture, but aquaculture is only one aspect of it because it's a kind of, uh, you're using byproducts of, of the marine food chain and sometimes stuff from the land to, to feed the animals on. But there are aspects of aquaculture which are quite natural in the sense of mussel farming, in which you don't actually need to feed the mussels. You just give them a haven and let them grow. The same with oysters. And much the same can be done with lobsters and crayfish or your, what you call bugs or whatever it is. But also there's a whole, whole um, scenario out there. If you read Jules Verne about the way in which the... Uh, if you look at the ocean just flying into this place, you see under there sort of dark patches where there's things growing. That's where all the fish are because they're eating. You've just got to encourage the development of that growth so you get really good expansion of the primary products of the ocean and then you start the marine food chain taking off in, in a much more earnest way than it is at the moment.